we're going to build a solver in Excel to calculate the Shannon-Wiener diversity index. We have some data here. Uh, this could be anything, but we can imagine these are species of spiders. So we've been to one site and we've counted the number of individuals of each species of spider. So this is abundance data. And we have the formula for the Shannon-Wiener diversity index here. Just to remind you of what these letters mean, H apostrophe is what we use for the Shannon-Wiener index. S is the number of species in the community. And PI is the proportion of total abundance represented by each particular species. What we're going to do is break down this formula into stages to make it as simple as possible. So the first thing we need to do is work out PI. Now that's the proportion of species in the sample. So first we need to know how many individuals in total there are in the sample. We can drag that down and we click auto sum. And there are options in auto sum, you can have averages and things in there. But if we just click on it, it's going to do the sum. So the sum is 549 individuals. I'm going to make that a different color. To get the proportion for each species, uh, we want to divide the number of individuals for that species by the total number of, of individuals. So we can write a little formula for that. The way we do that is to hit equals, and we want to take a number of individuals for the species, and we want to divide it by this number here. So we hit divide, and then this number here. But actually, when we want to drag that formula down for the rest of these species, so we don't have to write it for each one individually, we don't want this cell to move. We want to stay on that cell. And the way we do that, we put a dollar sign for the B and for the 18. So that's fixed on that cell now. And I can hit enter and it will calculate the first one for me. And I can take the corner of that cell and drag it all the way down. It should calculate a portion of, of individuals of each species from the total number of species. I'm going to type that formula above the table for you. Now, if I just type it, it'll think I'm doing formula again, hit equals. Um, but actually, I want to display that as text. And the way I do that is I just hit the apostrophe, and then it knows everything I put after this is just going to display as text. And so I want equals B5, actually this cell here, which you can click on to get divided by, and then this cell here, which is described as dollar B dollar 18. Okay. Now the next term we need um, is this part of the formula here. This is the natural log of PI. Okay, so we'll put that in there, LN. And to get the natural log of PI, we can hit equals for a new formula. And for the natural log, it's capital L, capital N. And helpfully, Excel shows us it's going to return the natural logarithm of a number. So, okay, bracket. And it's as simple as that. So this is apostrophe equals LN. You know what to enter. So we have this part of the equation here. But we haven't quite finished yet. We have to multiply what we've done so far by PI again. So to write the formula, we hit equals again, and we can simply take that cell and multiply it by that cell. Hit enter to return your formula. That's with the rest of it, we can drag that all down here. Now the next part of the formula is to take the sum of it. And we do that once again by doing auto sum. And we're very nearly there with that number. You can see it's a, it's a minus figure, um, but to make it easier to understand uh, the Simpson index is made positive just by putting a negative in there. So we take the negative of this equals minus one multiplied by that cell. Okay. 
one check you might want to put in is just to sum this column here. And it should equal one. You don't want the natural log of one. Okay. What we can also do with the Shannon Wiener index is calculate the effective number of species. And that's the equivalent number of species if all species were present in equal numbers. Okay, so it's just a, a more intuitive way of comparing the diversity of different communities. We use the exp function, which is e to the power of our number, e being Euler's number. And it's the inverse of the natural logarithm function. So we can put, so to add the formula, go equals exp, the bracket, h, which is in, square E19, and that's the effective number of species, 9.3. It's always going to be lower than the actual number of species we have, which is 13. Now you may want to use this solver for a different data set. That's easy enough to do. Um, for example, if we take our um, very basic example that we used in class, and we have species A and species B. So we don't need we don't need any of these species. We can select the rows and right click, delete, and that drops right down. And we can change the data here. So in community one, we have 99 and one, and automatically we have the answer at the end. And I'm just checking that that's right. And it does correspond to the answer we have here and if you want to put another the other community in that was 50 and 50 but if we wanted to add in more species we have to be a little bit careful about how we do that um, it's best to insert your species between the other species up here okay if you do them at the end they won't be included in the calculation so you can insert here and if you pull down however many uh, rows you need can say insert and add those in here. Put our species number, and we could add our data in. And you can see it calculating as we go. Presumably would be different. Can pull that all the way down, and the checks in there to show that the proportions add up to one. And you can pull the rest of these down. And we have an answer here, and I trust that that's correct. So you now have a solver for the Shannon Wiener Diversity Index that you should be able to use on any data for a community where you have abundance data for each species. Just remember that the index by itself doesn't mean much, it's just an index. It's only really useful when you have several communities to compare against each other.